of the spirit every day. Now, as we already reflected that to evangelize we need tools. They are the spiritual gifts, the charisms, which even from through the baptism, everybody is given these gifts through baptism. But, but we have to still, that is why St. Paul said to Timothy in his famous writing to the Timothy, my son. He considered him my son. And in 2 Timothy chapter 1, 6, he said, My Timothy, my son, for this reason I demand you to stir into flame the gift of God that you have through the imposition of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather of power and love and self-control. So do not be ashamed of your testimony to our Lord, nor of me, a prisoner of, of his sake, but bear your sh share of hardships for the gospel with the strength that comes from God. <laughs> exactly we were talking about. What, uh, uh, Second Timothy chapter 1, 6. Ah, uh, there we go, yeah. Sorry. So we take now only the first part in, for our present uh, workshop. This we call it as workshop. For this reason, I remind you to turn into flame the gift of God you have, mm. already you have. So I, ex I explained this example that we were now having coffee latte. So suppose uh, they put the sugar in it, but we began to drink it, it's not sweet. They say, no, no, we put three cubes of sugar, why it's not sweet? You forgot to stir. Mm. So if you don't stir in the coffee latte, sugar is there, it will be underneath lying there. Mm. Yet coffee is not sweet. This is the famous example on charism. Why Christians, although Catholics, why they are not having charism? Should they go for again another baptism? No. They need to stir the baptismal grace. What we received, the three cubes, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and all the anointing for the, for the evangelization. Yes. Then only Christian life has a meaning and power. I tell you, only at the age of about 38, 40, I realized that I too has a responsibility to evangelize. So God has given me a task and a gift. So I have to still now come to First Corinthians chapter 12. So this is what I said, three chapters, chapter 12, 13 and 14. These three chapters are teaching of St. Paul on charisms. The first thing he says, now 12.1, 12, 12.1 says, now in regard to spiritual gifts, spiritual gifts. Yeah. Other gifts, wisdom, knowledge, understand that is sanctifying gifts of the Holy Spirit. Spiritual gifts are called charisms. In regard to spiritual gifts, brothers, I do not want you to be unaware. That means it has two meanings. I do not want you to be unaware about what particular gift you have. That is first thing. But everyone has different gifts. Mm. Now, I realize I have a gift of teaching. 
preaching. Then when I was preaching, suddenly I saw a vision, a heart and there is a hole in the heart and a finger touching that hole. I said, what is this? The Lord is telling a person in this group I am healing you, from a hole Hallelujah. in the heart. So what should I do? You pray. Now it will be healed. Oh my God. <laughs> a hole of the heart will be healed. Yes. You have a gift of healing. Oh my God. It is I who is healing. Now what should I do? I start, I have to, I was sure. I, then the Lord said, you announce it. Oh, I announce it. And if it is not happening, no, it will happen. So I announce, somebody in this group, the Lord is healing who has a hole in the heart. I was sure that first time I had no experience. If nobody come back, what people will think about me? But as I was thinking from the last bench, a woman raised it, that is me! Oh, that God! <laughs> the whole audience was reverberating, thanking God, and she came running, giving this, yes, I am a poor woman, I have no, I am a very poor, but I was diagnosed as whole in the heart. Mm. It needs a lot of money for an operation. I prayed, oh Lord, I have no nothing. But the Lord has now healed me. Praise the Lord. Amen. And so it is also a confirmation of the teaching, what we teach, preach. Mm. Because in, Hebrew, in, in Mark 16, 20 says, they went all around preaching and the Lord confirmed it through signs. Therefore, when we preach, the Lord will do healing. Even we don't have to do a healing session. Even without that, it is also, we can also do. But these charisms will work along with our preaching. Then only I realize, I have a gift of preaching, gift of teaching, gift of healing, and gift of vision, because I saw in a vision this healing already going to take place and I had a gift of listening so many things, everything <laughs> I was so excited so this I am telling I never knew these things it began to release open in me as in a prayer we pray over somebody this is how it happened so thereafter I wanted everyone to have this so I started praying, everybody, you be, because the Lord said it, what you received free, give it free. Matthew chapter 10, 8 says, what you received free, give it free. So when all, so last more than 25 years, I have been training people in Cadism. So I used to conduct only seminar on Cadisms. Each charism I explain and I pray over them and it started developing in them. Then they started doing the same thing. That's it. Amen. They may not know afterwards what they should do, but they start growing bigger and bigger. Even many priests in India and abroad, they attended my retreat. I said, you have this charism. Mm. I pray for you. So you will start doing that. Then go. Oh, and they started preaching, they started healing. So, so many lay people like that. Now you saw yesterday, <laughs> when I am here, my more excitement is here, more than anywhere, so many of my old, oh uh, so-called people who attended my retreat met me yesterday and these days here. As I am standing in front of uh, Madhugoria, the church, Yesterday, a lady who was an organizer of my retreat, because once she was so touched, she wanted to organize it. She met me yesterday. Hey, those words! <laughs> and another woman from Slovakia, Germany, India, Singapore, oh, so many people. Because they all were initiated by me and they are 
living in that now. Amen. So when they see me, it's an excitement <laughs> for them. That, okay, now coming to this chapter, chapter 12. Here, St. Paul says, now, soon I am going to pray over you. Yeah. Soon I am going to pray over you. Yes. We only have to say this first one point. Word 4, 5, 6. In this charism, it is not only Holy Spirit working. It's a Trinitarian work. So I said it earlier itself. Holy Spirit comes like a dove. He cannot come alone. He comes with the Father and the Son. So also here it is written, 4, 5, 6. 1 Corinthians 12, 4, 5, 6 is a very uh, important teaching. Seldom people realize it. This hidden Trinitarian aspect here. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. That is Holy Spirit. Same Holy Spirit, but different kinds of spiritual gifts. So we should not criticize anybody because it is the same spirit working in them. If we criticize them, we are criticizing the spirit. So the spirits working in us will become little, little, not, the spirit will not be so happy. So we must respect, recognize and appreciate the Holy Spirit working in everybody. That is one, working of the spirit. Different kinds of the spiritual gifts, but the same spirit. Now comes about the Lord. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. Now we are, in, we are doing a service. But from where this word service comes? Jesus said, I have come not to be served, but to serve but to serve. Although he is king. Now this is where his kingship he is serving us. He kneeled down washing the feet of the disciples. So that serving aspect is all these charisms are to serve the people of God. To serve. And that is beginning from Jesus, as he is the wine, we are all his branches. So it is a spirit of serving from the Lord. So the Lord is the one who is the leader of our serving. Now, third, there are different workings, but the same God, who, pro, 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 who produces all of them in everyone. So it is the working of God. Somebody is doing a miraculous healing. Somebody is only praying. Somebody's fever is healed. But it is the same working from God the Father. So now you see the Trinitarian aspect here. It is coming from originally from the working of God, the Father, and as a serving of Jesus and as a spiritual gift through Holy Spirit. Mm. And then comes a very important teaching, verse 7 says, to each individual the manifestation of the Spirit is given for benefit, common benefit. So this is where, as lay people, we have a timidness or an inferiority feeling. Oh no, it's not for me. This is a big gift for Padre Pio or Saint Slavko or Father Slavko or for those such big, 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 big people. Not for me. That is wrong. Saint John Paul II in his apostolic letter, Christi Fidelis Leici. That is the teaching about the lay people. In the introduction itself, he quoted this. His beauty is, he write only one small word to each, inverted commas. Each lay people is called and given the gifts. Each, each. Means no one is accepted from this. Pope Francis would say, gospel, joy of the gospel. The Lord wants everyone to enjoy the joy of the gospel. No one is accepted from that. 
We think proclamation is something a very bad and no. Proclamation is to experience the joy of the gospel. That is why his first apostolic letter is joy of the gospel. Gaud, uh, evangelic gaudium. Evangelic gaudium. All his teachings are joy, 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 joy. So joy of the gospel from each individual. Now St. Paul wrote, written here nine charisms here, nine charisms. I will explain it in another way. These nine charisms are grouped in three parts, three parts. Word 8 to 11. First is revelation gifts. Revelation, revealing. What is revealing? I saw a vision. That is a word of wisdom, word of knowledge. So word of wisdom is a, a, a revelation about something happening in a person. And it is shown as a vision. Vision. But that vision must be interpreted. I saw a vision, a heart with a small hole. Oh, what does it mean? Now the word of wisdom is the interpretation, I am healing a person who has a hole in the heart. Otherwise it has no meaning. So the, it, it combines two gifts, word of knowledge, word of wisdom. So St. Paul first write word of wisdom because without the word of wisdom, you should not use the gift of word of knowledge without the wisdom of interpretation. There is where we can go wrong. Somebody saw a vision and they started interpreting. As an example, when in a, a, a workshop, a woman prayed for another woman, she saw a dead body in a coffin. So she said, oh, it is good that you came to Medjugorje and prepared yourself. Eh? What is that? Anyway, we have to die one day. Better. No, what do you mean? No, I saw in a vision your dead body in a coffin. So you will die soon. <laughs> no, 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 I don't want to die now. I am. <laughs> then there was you crying and loud. Then I came in, said, what happened? No, see, it's a very clear vision. Her dead body in a coffin. So she will die soon. I said, how can you say that? You have to interpret it. What is there interpreted? It is very clear. I said, no. You need to interpret the vision. You need to ask the Holy Spirit, the word of wisdom. Oh, is that? Okay. You don't have it now, but you have to pray for it. So in a beginner, you may not have, but you have to pray. Or you have to ask someone who has the gift of word of wisdom. So I said, I have the word of wisdom. I will pray. Let us ask the Holy Spirit. Oh, Holy Spirit, what is the word of wisdom? What is the meaning of this vision? And the Holy Spirit said, the old man is gone. She is now new. Ah, oh. Praise the Lord. Don't you feel peace now? Yeah. That is a sign. When we get the right interpretation, we feel such a peace. Mm -hmm. So she came for a five days retreat and her life is renewed. Her old man is packed and gone. Mm. She is now completely new person. Amen. That is the interpretation as, as an example. Mm -hmm. So this is where we have to have uh, discernment. Mm -hmm. So that is another gift, discernment of gifts. Uh, discernment of spirits. Even evil spirits, there are so many types of evil spirits. But the Holy Spirit will tell you what type of spirit it is, what is the strength of the spirit, what way you have to diffuse it, what way you have to handle all these things, Holy Spirit will tell you. Mm -hmm. So that is called discernment of spirit. So these three gifts are grouped up in revelation gifts. Revelation which is revealing. Now the second is power gifts. Second group is power gift. In that there are three gifts. Power gifts. Gift of healing, gift of miracle, gift of faith. Here gift of faith is not the real learning of faith, but God gives you such a faith and you say it, so it happens. 
The Lord say you command this bone to along it. Oh my God, will it happen? Oh no, 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 I don't know, Lord. No, I give you faith. Yes. Then suddenly I feel such a strength and I command in the name of Jesus, I command these bones to along it. The bone along it. So first is gift of faith. Second is the miracle, gift of miracle. And it is a healing. Yeah. And that yeah. was a sister. She was at 40 years. She was limping like this. But now she walks straight. Her problem was one leg was short. But she never realized it. Her other leg was having pain. Because this leg was short. All her weight coming upon the other leg. Which yeah. was... Okay. So that is the second aspect. Miracle, faith and healing. Now the third is group is word gifts. The gifts operated through the voice, word. That is gift of tongues. There are different types of tongues. Praying tongues. This is praying in tongues. That's a language of prayer. Wherein, it is written in the next chapter, when you pray in tongues, your spirit is praying, not mind. But you can also pray with your mind and spirit together. So like that, oh my dear friends, let us pray for the next program we are going to have in November. Oh Shalama Khidi Allah Now we are praying with the mind and the spirit. And another gift is speaking in tongues. Speaking in tongues is completely different than praying in tongues. Speaking in tongues need to be interpreted. So that comes interpretation of tongues. That is another gift. Interpretation of the tongue. Like on the day of Pentecost, apostles were speaking in tongues and people who came from all over the world, they understood in their own mother tongue. Mm. That means the Holy Spirit has given them the gift of interpretation of tongues. Mm. Now I have, thank God, this gift of speaking and interpretation. Amen. Now I am going to do it for a demonstration. Yeah. This is speaking in tongues. My beloved people, I have chosen you, I have anointed you, I have anointed you, I have anointed you. Mm. Amen. Mm. The interpretation. Amen. So then it also like a prophecy. Mm. It can be a prophecy, it can be also revelation. So that is speaking in tongues and interpretation of tongues and the gift of prophecy. All this is the okay now with this we will now pray so it will be like this how many minutes more for us Just eh? yeah. first you I will pray over you pay attention I will pray over you to activate the gift then you two sit together and you pray over one another and ask Holy Spirit to reveal me something about this person. So that is how it is operating. You will see the operation of this gift. Yes. Eh? Yes. Okay, don't be tense. Mm -hmm. First I will pray over you to open the gifts. Yes. Thereafter you one to another uh, pray over and ask Holy Spirit speak to me through vision or uh, any way. So sometimes, suppose you are praying for a person, suddenly you feel a pain in the back. Yeah. Then you ask, oh, this person has a back pain. Oh, you have a back pain? Yes. So shall I pray for you? Pray. And then it heals. And some, you pray for the person, then you see a cycle, a little a young girl driving a cycle and fell down fallen in the sideway, drain filled with the water. I see like this. Oh, that was me when I was a small, it happened to me. And therefore, even now I am afraid to drive the cycle. Mm, Things yes, like that, yes. as example. Yeah. 
These are examples. Okay. So when you pray, the Lord will reveal to you something either as a vision or as a thinking. You just start thinking something, you share that thinking. I have this thinking. Oh yeah, yeah, that is my situation. <laughs> or like that it will come. Okay? Yes. So we now start. Okay. So all those who are watching live, you pray. I will also pray for you in this. Okay. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Exalt your mighty name, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. You sit there only. I come to you, O oh, Holy Spirit. You have already anointed us. The threefold anointing in us. We only have to stir them to pray. In the name of Jesus, O oh, Holy Spirit, open all chasms for a mentalization. You have chosen us. And you have sent us already to evangelize, to preach to all creation. Oh Holy Spirit, stir the chasms, open all the chasms. My beloved child, I have anointed you. Open the anointing. Amen. Amen. Shandala Hiya Labara Shala Alabara Alabara Alabara. Oh Holy Spirit, open the anointing. Shandala Alabara. You have chosen her. You are in her. You are in her. You have given her many charisms. Shalama Kura Mikira. Open the anointing. Shalabala Halabala Halabala. My beloved child. I have chosen you. Be open. Efata. Amen. 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 Shala halabala, halabala, halabala. Shandala halabali ala murakira. Shiri ala barakira mapura. Lamikiri ala murakhala mapura kira. My beloved child, I have given you many charisms. I now stir them and open. All your charisms multiply, multiply. The one who has will be given more. Shalabala, halabala. Use them for using them. I still the charism. Shalabala, balbala, balbala. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Shandala, halabala, labala, halabala, halabala. Shalabala, balbala, balbala. Open the charism. Allah miya rabara kira, labala, halabala, halabala, halabala. Amen, amen. Shandala, halabala, labala, labala, Shiri alabala, halabala, halabala, halabala. Open all charisms. Stir them, Lord. Shalabala, halabala. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Shandala, halabala, balabala, balabala, balabala. Open all charisms. Stir them, Lord. Anointing be open. Shandala, halabala. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Open all charisms. Shandala, halabala, balabala, 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 balabala. Amen. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shandala, halabala, balabala, 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 balabala. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. Now you can make a group. Uh, how to make a group? Uh, or you can also have three persons, the boys, you together, and one of you, you three together sit. And uh, here, uh, or how can we make now? Uh, you. Yeah, there's two more trees. Yeah. That boy, herself, myself, and three. There is six. Or we can have four. Okay. Right. There's four. nine of us, so eh? we should be yeah. okay. Three trees? Huh? There are three. Three trees. Yeah, three trees. Sit. Uh, uh, you sit, you come, to, or you go there. Yeah, okay. You go there. Yeah, 
Ah, correct, correct. Three, three. three, three. Yes, very good, very good. Yes. That's right, very good. Yeah, three, three. Good, good. So now, one uh, on one person, two of you pray. Okay. So you get a concurrence, you know. Now put together pray for him and ask the Lord to be a message about him. And what God speaks, who speak, then you will find a, a consensus of the Holy Spirit. You know? Okay. You pray for her. Okay. It, uh, uh, okay. Yeah. And so also you together pray for him. So I was say, Lord, show me the Lord. Yeah. Or speak to me. Speak to speak to us about this young man. What, what do we say? You pray to Holy Spirit. Lord, speak. You uh, uh, speak. Stephen. 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 Lord, speak to me about Stephen. And then you wait. You ask the Lord in silence. And then Holy Spirit will read to you something that you speak to him also. Yeah. And share. And share, share. And then we get we get something in agreement. Yeah, agreement. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We sit it in person. Yes. You can even lay hands over him or touch him. Am I okay to touch? I, I don't think we should touch each other. Yeah. Okay. Just put yeah. your hands yeah. close by. Yeah. I'm okay. Okay. We have too many Praise problems Jesus. in our church. Hallelujah. 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 Do we share what we get? You are yeah, you be between yeah, okay. you. And so you will know what... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's yeah. coming to me is very strong. Be not afraid. I go before you always. You just come follow me. Amen. And I will lead you. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Shana, 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 Thank you, Lord. Yes. Could you get some message? Yeah. What Be not it? afraid, I go before no. you are. Okay. So, it is meaningful for you? Yeah. Okay. Now you, you, you it is a starting point. You continue. Again, okay. pray. Okay. You pray and find out. That's a good message. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. I'm getting prayed. Do you and know how much I love you? Oh, the Lord is still here. Yeah. I do. Yeah, that is the voice of the Lord. You understand? Yeah. Mm. What is it here? When I get, I see pray. Yeah. A leader. Yeah. You, when you pray, you you see. A, I hear. I hear pray. Yeah. Pray, and then I see the hands, and then lead leader. Oh. So. That is like a prophecy. Pray. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you pray like this? Yeah. So you have to start doing it. <laughs> it's a message for you. A very good message that he is holding hands and praying. And I didn't see his hands. I just see hands together. Pray. The word I see. I heard. I hear. Not a voice, but I hear pray. Yeah. And then I see the hands of pray. And then, I, then it's lead, leader, lead, leader. Yeah. So for you, you see many charism now. Uh, the vision, hearing, everything happens. Okay, so it's a training now for us, you know. So exactly, you have to again, you spoke it. When you spoke this, what you felt? Amen. Uh, but you feel like doing it? Okay, anyway, don't worry. Okay, now. What, I didn't what? get anything. Yeah. Oh, anyway, now pray. Try again. Pray. Okay. Or you now pray for her. Pray for her. Yeah. Now you also pray for her. Like that we change. Now you pray for different. Now you can pray. Now you finish praying for her. Now you pray for her. Yes. I got another word. I don't yeah, know. What is that? It says, uh, let my love flow. 
let my love love flow, flow. Uh, overflowing yes yeah that's all very important messages yes. that means our presenting is For the working of the charism that you have a charism listening to god mm. listening to the message for the people so this you must pray for everybody like this and speak this so it will touch them and the lord will show them what exactly okay the what it meant she in her heart she will understand we she may not be able to explain it now but in appropriate time it will come up okay so it is happening Now our point is we are doing a workshop on charism so it is working in you charism of the holy spirit is working in you charism of the holy spirit she is now so good now you both pray for her yes so what's happening here so you understand you are listening listening so this we have to operate more and more and you have to pray for anybody you ask the lord what do you talk about me so this way it will come and as you go more and more even when you see the idea when you pray the lord's a voice will come clear and what was your i i felt uh, all what you said to say that i'm to pray you can flow in my mind Now, now you both pray for him. He what is the message? Pray for. Okay. Now what's happening here? Oh, I'm hearing is learn humility. Yeah, that is what uh, you got a message. Okay. Okay. Everybody needs it. Oh, everybody needs it. Humble, <laughs> yes, yeah. of course. Okay. So that is something for your growth. Hundred eh? percent. Okay. Then you did not. Pay. Don't worry. You are new. Now you pray for her. Mm -hmm. You both pray for her. This is a trial, you know. Yep. I, this is like a workshop. It's training. It's a training. Yeah, none of us is going to be training. perfect. Uh -huh. We have Because to keep doing it. Uh, like when we are driving a motor car. initially it will go here and there so it may not be perfect but you know how it works okay that's why come on you pray for her now you both pray for her praise you jesus thank you lord did you hear anything for her no vision no voice okay now what do you get her i got the free Be free! Yeah. I reach my hand out for you. Yeah. What say it again? Be, Be free! Yeah. I reach my hand out for you. Yeah. Now, first of all, imagine what a powerful gift you have. Mm. It is a gift of prophecy, yes. gift of listening to the voice And of God. She had to mm. hand over her pain yeah. to Jesus. Yeah. Where to be free first, yeah. and then. Uh, reach out of my hand yeah. for you and then so you feel it is meaningful for you yes, it exactly is. yes good very good okay. so this is how the this is how the charisms working yeah. this is a training session mm -hmm. so you must use it more time now you do for her okay. you pray for her Ah. <laughs> yeah, you pray for her. You are so pray for yeah. her. Come. Do not be afraid my peace I give you my peace I leave you. Yeah. Do not be afraid. Yeah. 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 I've just got I do. Praise hmm? God, yeah. I've just got one for Stephen. Yeah. You are very yes. precious. Ah, oh, now you got it. <laughs> <laughs> now it Absolutely. came out. Yeah. Yes, God. So that is what the triggering was needed. The triggering was needed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry, I mean I missed what you just said to me. Do not be so afraid. Like my yeah. peace I give you, my peace I Thank leave you. you. Okay. Yeah. Good. And here what's happening here? Peace twice. Peace twice. I just said mm -hmm. also that what you uh, have already said to Simon, but the one word that came to me was confidence, and that you already have that confidence. 
Okay. Very good. Okay. Now, let us conclude now. Let us thank God. It's enough now. This is just to make a trial. So, in a five days, in a five days program, we will have many sessions with different groups. And many times this will operate and interpret and all. So, many things we have to do. That is what called workshop on cats. Mm. So then we are immersed in the work of the Holy Spirit. We will get so many messages, we will have so many clarifications, so many doubts. And like that, like that, we get into confidence of uh, how this is working. Yeah. I think already you got a taste of it now, yeah. correct? Okay. Now, yeah. Yeah. Okay, now our time is over now. We are going for Holy Mass soon. So let us someone sing, sing a thanking God, thanking Him. So now, now in the nutshell, everyone got a message, a word of knowledge or a prophecy, or a vision. So this is how we have to go. We have to grow, that everybody has charisms. Yes or no? Now you realize all of you have the charisms? Now we have to train. We have to work out. We have to make. We have to active. So even if you are alone, so you are in the university, or anywhere you sit, you Lord speak to me. Speak to me. Then the Lord will start speaking. Then the Lord will start showing visions. So when you get a vision, you don't immediately make any meaning about it. You must ask the Holy Spirit, what is the meaning of this? Suppose you see a snake. Oh, snake is something about devil or poison. Don't immediately conclude that. You ask Holy Spirit, why am I? When I pray for a person, I see snake. What is that? And the Holy Spirit will say, this person saw a snake and got frightened. That is the reason of her asthma. Yeah. See the difference? Yeah. Exactly that happened. Yeah. Uh, one woman, she is having asthma for 25 years. And in spite of any treatment, the best treatment, it is not been healed. So. I asked her, have you seen a snake and frightened? Oh, no. So, in his twin, uh, she may not even remember. Then again I asked the Holy Spirit, when can you tell me, Holy Spirit, when this happened? When she was 10 years old. Now she's 35 years old. So it matches very well, 25 years back. Mm -hmm. She says, I have asthma for 25 years now. And I told her, when you were 10 years old, you saw a snake and frightened. 10 years old. 10 years means I was studying in fifth standard. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I was coming with my cousin sister, a snake came and the snake bite my cousin sister. She died on the spot and I was running, I was running. She started behaving like this, exactly. Yes. And then I said, in the name of Jesus, be healed. There you go. That time, 25 years old asthma was healed. This is what finding the root cause of a sickness. Yes, the root cause. Yes, doctor. Eh? Yes, this amen. is actually, so this yes. cannot be understood by any scanning or any no. uh, x-ray. No. So the, uh, uh, through the Holy Spirit, we can find the root cause of many such sicknesses and when we recognize it, the Lord reveals it, already healing starts there, healing starts there. Okay, now we will conclude. I, let us thank God it is a short session yeah. only to, to show us how important these charisms are for evangelization. Yeah. So when we use it, and all those who will be watching these videos, it is a training for you, for your clarification, any doubt you can 
write me a message in my WhatsApp number 0091944719 I repeat 0091944719 and we have several 6033 last and we have in the next uh, we have been soon in Germany 20 21, 22 this month, there is a three-day workshop on the gift of prophecy, but in that all other gifts also will be considered. And next month, in October 11, 12, 13, in Ireland, Knock, there is a seminar on uh, charisms. Again, so if you are in this area, or if you can come to this area, you are welcome. We can arrange everything for you. So that is how. And maybe we also pray another time we will have a charism workshop in Medjugorje too. So let us now thank and praise God. Now thank you Jesus. Praise, praise you Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Name, Lord. Hallelujah. We love Hallelujah. You, Lord. Praise you Jesus. Thank you Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now we go for the Holy Mass at 12 o'clock Mass. It's a Croatian Mass. We participate and then after that we go for lunch and by two o'clock we come back two o'clock and in the afternoon we are going to have a special session on healing of the family tree healing of the family tree today that is our program today okay God oh wait you. what time was that one bye -bye. Two. 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 Sorry. Thank you. is that one